<clears throat> this is my video review on the Marvel Select Disney Store exclusive Captain America, the Winter Soldier, Captain America. So he comes with two heads. Here's the regular one around the mask. Doesn't really look like Chris Evans, but kind of still looks like Captain America if that makes sense. And the difference between this one and the other one, well, this one's a variant, I think. This one has a different shield, which we'll talk about later. And there's like more mud on his suit. And that's pretty much it. So there's some mud right there on the inside of the body. Some on the leg. Right there on the arm, too. And he has some right here, too, on the back. Hands in the way, but I hope you guys can see it. Right there. Let's talk about the base real fast. This comes with like a regular shield base. Well, I'm assuming it's a shield base because it has a logo. But it'd be pretty cool if he had like a ton of these. So you can line it all up and have like a diorama or something. And here's the other face coat it comes with, or other head. This one looks more like Chris Evans, though, from the side. I think so. But it's pretty cool. So let's set the camera down. And we'll talk about the toy more. Okay, let's get the toy back on the shot. And let's see if it focuses, which my camera's been being weird lately. I just want to focus. So I gotta do the little down and up trick. And it still hasn't helped. Just put my hand in the camera. And it still hasn't helped. Let's get the, let's get it close. And let's get a little back. Did that help a little? What the heck? Oh, there we go. It helped. Okay, let's talk about the shield. You can just remove the shield off like this. It's very easy, surprisingly. I thought it would be hard. He has the straps, which is pretty cool because they detailed it with, like, the silver buckles or silver buttons. And the shield's pretty cool. I like how it has, like, this black shadow on it or shading or whatever. And star sculpted on, if you're wondering. I like how it just looks so beat up and, like, the paint's worn off. It looks pretty cool. Unless you want to make a custom one and just repaint it red if you don't like it. I really like the body mold they use for this. It looks so nice for some reason. Like, I really do like this figure a lot. I like it more than the Marvel Legends one, which is right over here. If you want to look at like a size comparison. It's still in package, but it still counts for a size comparison. I don't know. There's something about this I really like. I don't know, man. It is, it's a really good figure. That's what I'm trying to say. And it's going for a lot on eBay, which I don't really see why it's going for a lot, but I guess. So yeah, let's talk about articulation. You guys are probably wondering how articulation is like. So head turns left and right. Doesn't really go up and down too much because it's just on a ball peg. So that's really all you're going to get out of it. Arms fully rotate if you really want to do that. And arms go in and out. Bends at the elbow. No biceps symbol, but it does rotate right here, so eh, at least they added that. Wrist rotates. And wrist hinges. Doesn't really hinge up and down too far, but it's good enough. One thing that really drives me crazy is that this part should be glued on because there's no waist twist because there's a diaphragm joint. And it's just really irritating how it's not glued on because it's just like... Okay, my camera died out, and it's almost been an hour, so as I was saying, it's really irritating how it's not glued on. I don't know, it just irritates me. It's like kind of like a hula hoop thing. But the buckles are painted silver, which I like. So that's at least kind of cool they did that, but not cool enough, man. And there's his butt, if you're wondering. He's like Captain America's butt. And here he has a diaphragm joint, which goes left and right. And it crunches too, but it's not really the greatest when it comes to crunching up and down. But it gets the job done, at least. So the legs go forward, rotates at the top right here, and it's fairly hidden well, and double joint knee, and foot goes down, up, and has the ankle pivot. The straps like, I mean the straps look nice too, and there's silver painting on it, which is cool how they added that. I don't think I mentioned it, but I like how the hips look like right here. It kind of reminds me of how like the Mattel does their figures, but it looks way better on this one for some reason than the Mattel ones. So let's get the head on, the other head. See, how, see if you guys are wondering how it looks like. Uh, kind of hard plugging in the other one in for some reason. I always have a hard time. And I'm having a hard time right now. Uh, there you go. Got it on. And here's how the other head looks like on it. Looks cool. But for some reason why, I really like how the other one looks on it. The Steve Rogers face head. So 
So let's get the shield back on too for the last part of the video. So I really like this tutorial. Things way better than the Marvel Legends ones. Like I keep saying, I keep saying that in the video. Well, it is better than the Marvel Legends one. So yeah, that's pretty much been it. Um, I don't even know. Dude. I really like this toy. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like pausing. And I keep thinking of something to say, but I have nothing to say. But I really like this toy. If you want to keep me hearing saying that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Stay another 10 seconds and you get a surprise. Okay, no surprise for you. Okay, that was just retarded. Thanks for watching. Bye.